GE markets this as a point of care system, but it's so much more than that. Hi, I'm Brian Gill of Providian Medical, and this is the GE NextGen Logic E Shared Service Portable Ultrasound Machine. This is probably the first update to the Logic E that has truly a breakthrough over its previous versions. Now, since its release in 2006, the Logic E is the best-selling portable ultrasound machine of all time. It also had a large impact on the market, and it continues to do so. Its main problem, however, was that through the Logic E's many software and hardware upgrades, it never got significantly better. Until now. The next gen has finally caught up with the competition. Image quality is better in all modalities over the previous version, and there are many improvements, but the most notable improvement is in its performance. Specifically, we're talking about speed. Everything on the next gen Logic E is faster, much faster. From its boot time to less than a minute, to storing clips, to color Doppler, the next gen leapfrogs over the previous versions of the Logic E. Now in the past, simply changing modes or imaging settings or saving clips, it felt painfully slow compared to the new competitors out there. But improved processing and adding the solid state hard drive, this has really separated itself from the previous versions. Everything on this works nearly instantaneous and saving an image in a prospective or retrospective clip shows zero lag or pause in your imaging. Now, for whatever reason, G has marketed this as a point of care system. Its brochures, specs, and websites talk about this being designed specifically for that market. But this is so much more than that. And I'll talk about all its features in a moment. For its point of care capabilities, great improvements were made to the next gen Logic E by adding probes, new settings, and optimizations specifically for the point of care market, such as like the emergency department, anesthesia, rheumatology, head and neck, and musculoskeletal. And while these improvements are great, I think in many cases, Sonos Edge and Edge 2 systems are still better in fast-paced environments. Why I say this is because Sonos systems, they're more lightweight, they're faster, more durable, and very simple to use, all of which are key factors in the point-of-care market. In fact, the most common questions physicians ask me about a point-of-care system are image quality, ease of use, and speed. Now, while the next gen has great image quality, and it's very fast once it's booted. The boot time is still 60 seconds, which is three to four times slower than Sonosite machines. Additionally, the Sonosite is much easier to use, particularly for those needing a visualization tool and not a full diagnostic ultrasound machine. Now, that being said, there are many cases in which in the point of care market where the GE will be the preferred machine. That's because it's versatile, image quality is very good, it's more customizable, and it's a fully capable diagnostic ultrasound machine. Its calculations package, customizability, and the versatility are beyond what Sonosite offers, and that's by Sonosite's design. GE has also introduced a few new probes to this market that are unique, including an 18 megahertz and 22 megahertz probes, and a very cool programmable linear probe that eliminates the need for a third hand when you're adjusting parameters or printing or saving images. Now, beyond point of care, the next gen has also improved its capabilities as a shared service system, namely general imaging, vascular, OBGYN, and cardiac. Now, I want to take a moment to address cardiac because that's important on this system. Anyone who used the Logic E for cardiac in the past knows that this was his Achilles heel. This has changed. The next gen has become a much more capable portable cardiac machine. Now I won't go as far to say it's better than a Philips CX50 or even close to the Vivid IQ, but particularly when it comes to color Doppler, there is a large difference between the next gen and the previous Logic E's. Previous versions of the Logic E had slow cardiac frame rates and nearly unusable color Doppler. One of the top customer support issues I dealt with on this were the color Doppler for cardiac because it was so slow. Now, while you're able to finesse the machine to get to good enough status, sacrifices in the image size and quality needed to be made in order to get that good, fast color Doppler. This is no longer the case with the next gen. Mobile companies or clinicians needing a portable shared service machine with good cardiac capabilities, the next gen is advanced from good enough to a solid option. 
Now finally, let me highlight some of the key technologies you'll find in the system. Some of these are new and others are improved over the previous versions. This includes the large suite of point of care applications, stress echo, HDMI output, three USB ports, an SD card slot, I don't know why, stress echo, auto IMT, needle recognition, high resolution PDI, tissue velocity, tissue Doppler, and flow quantitative analysis, CW Doppler, eSmart trainer, and panoramic. I like what GE did with this next gen. The next gen moniker is very good for this system as its improvements bring it in line with the current lineup of mid to upper range portable shared service ultrasound machines. I'm Brian Gill with Providian Medical and that's what you need to know about GE's next gen Logic E portable ultrasound machine. Thanks for watching.